Well, I've made uh, things like this, I suppose, since I was a very small child, and uh, I've always made things. And I think when I was about seven, I realised that the best things to make were things that made people laugh, just to provoke a reaction, you know. And I really, you know, there was, a, there was a bit when I was a teenager when I thought it was a bit childish, but then when I was grown up, I went back to it and never really stopped. People appreciate it and it's very uh, satisfying obviously to see people enjoying my handiwork and you know makes me go back to the shed and carry on making things. <laughs> Yeah, this is Test Your Nerve, this is the most popular. I made this uh, years ago when there was a sort of scandal about um, babies being bitten by Rottweilers and, and the press, several in one summer. Um, so you have to put, well, you have to put your hand into the cage, into his cage and see how long you can hold it there. And press this button, you know, which will light up when I put the money in. If I can put the money in. There we go. So you're cowardly. Now as I keep my finger there, I'm normal. Now I'm broke. Ugh. This is what it actually does. The dog has started dribbling on me. And uh, the saliva is warm. <laughs> and then he goes to you. <laughs> when I worked for museums, I used to go to conferences and waffle on about things that I felt strongly about and uh, decided that nobody really took any notice, they just carried on the same. So when I started this place, I thought, well, rather than sort of campaign about things, to go to conferences and stuff, just, I think just by having this stuff here and people know that it's built by a single person, makes people feel, well, it is possible still to build things like this and it, you can do it if that's what you want to do. And, and, there, and you know, I get an enormous amount of emails and people who, are trying to make something or sort of people are, it does provoke interest. You have to take your shoe off for this machine and put it into the treatment bay and And then you can't really see this bit, but it's very, very creepy. Oof! It's very, very creepy. There's this, these rubber fingers that rub across the top of your foot, and and then she blows air through your from up from your sole of your foot as well. Um, oh, there it goes. Yes, very cold today. And that's all it is. But um, she's very reliable. She's been doing it for uh, 20 years or more. <laughs> this is micro brake. You have to put a seat belt on for this one and then press start. Welcome aboard flight Air B44 to Costa Valente. And so now I'm off on my three minute package holiday. If we should have to pull down in the sea, you will find a life jacket underneath your seat. Tie it on the left with a double bird coach to take you to your final destination. <laughs> Well, 
Well, this is based on an old Atari game, a Space Harrier, so the base was all made. Um, so it didn't actually take that long. About uh, two or three months, I suppose. This is the first time of animation, though, I did with little bits of cardboard, so um, that was fun. To help you train for your future, it's called Mobility Masterclass, and you have to cross the motorway um, using the Zimmer frame or walker. So um, we put the money in. Oh dear. Take the edge of the car. I have dreams. It would be nice to have a sort of huge space and uh, like an imagine a great big sort of um, thing that you could sort of wander around that would be great fun to make, but uh, also a headache. So. Painful, but we must now put it behind us. So it's business as usual. Yippee! I think I am eccentric just because I can't see why more people don't do what I do because it's such good fun and <laughs> seems so sort of an obvious thing to combine bits of engineering and I don't know bits of art and stuff and um, it seems such good territory really. And uh, with all the sort of computery stuff that's so cheap and so brilliant now. Um, there are lots of people who have a lot of very clever computer stuff and add a bit of physical mechanical stuff. Um, but I think there's enormous territory the other way around to have a lot of mechanical stuff and just a bit of clever computery stuff. And I'm sort of amazed that more people don't really play with that. <laughs> you lost. So we're still dancing. It was painful, but we must now put it behind us. So it's business as usual. Yippee!